The trial of a teenager charged with attacking a Lebanon man with cerebral palsy last summer began today. KZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Krause was in the courtroom today and shows us what both sides allege happened. You could hear sniffling today on both sides of the courtroom as the rows filled with family and friends, not only of the defendant, but a 49-year-old Ronald Whitehead, a Lebanon man with cerebral palsy who police say was assaulted by two teenagers last summer. Now, one of those teens pleaded guilty to assault back in February and he was sentenced, but today a jury heard the case of the other teen, Jesse Jimenez, who says he didn't do it. This morning, after selecting a jury, attorneys presented their opening arguments in the case against Jesse Jimenez, who's facing charges of assault in the second degree and robbery in the first degree. Ron Whitehead basically lives in a hospital bed with a mesh canopy over him to prevent him from falling out. The state argues that Jimenez helped 18-year-old Trevin King beat up Whitehead to steal his bike. King, who already pleaded guilty to assault in the second degree, was sentenced to 10 years in prison. The defendant followed him, watched this, and then joined him. And he kicked him and punched him. And they took the body. The argument whether Jimenez helped King. Mr. Jimenez was away from where this was occurring. He saw what was occurring, went over to where it was occurring. And the defense says he was not part of the assault. Then he grabbed King and said, come on, let's go. Today, several witnesses took the stand, including the man who found Whitehead. Uh, I found a person laying in the parking lot. The man called 911, and the responding officer also took the stand today. He was clearly badly injured. He was bleeding from his face and head. He was laying not responsive. Police took pictures when they first saw Whitehead, which the state presented today as evidence. Very swollen. Uh, his face appears to have been you know, smashed in. Whitehead's family says he will have to spend the rest of his life in a care facility. Both parties agree Whitehead was injured, but the question remains, did Jimenez help with the assault, and can the state prove it beyond a reasonable doubt? The trial is scheduled to continue here tomorrow morning at the Lynn County Courthouse. In Albany, Rhoda Krause, KEZI 9 News.